Ever wonder how long it takes to inflate a tire at the factory? Well, here's the catch, it's not done through the valve stem. Today, we're giving you a peek behind the scenes at how tires are made and mounted. This beast of a machine you're seeing is built by VMI in the Netherlands. It costs millions and handles everything, from the inner liner to the carcass, sidewalls, and tread, all in one go. The result is what they call a green tire, which hasn't been cured yet. At this point, the tire's soft, heat-sensitive, and not very durable. So next, it goes into a mold with the tread pattern and sidewall text already built in. It's cured using heat, pressure, and vulcanizing chemicals. That's what gives the tire its strength, flexibility, and resistance to wear and tear. Now we're on the mounting line, lubricant gets sprayed on the inside and the machine pops the tire onto the rim. Ready for the cool part? A one second blast of air inflates it to 44 PSI. No valve stem involved. Factory air shoots through the side wall using a special ring of compressed air. Then comes dynamic balancing. If the tire isn't perfectly weighted, it can shake at high speeds. Small weights are added to smooth things out. Once everything's checked, it's ready to hit the road.